announced today that man who sold the Midland Odessa shooter, his gun, Marcus Anthony Brazil, has pleaded guilty to two federal crimes. And that man from Lubbock is now facing some serious jail time. Good evening, I'm Lauren Motter. I'm Brian Mudd. You know, it's a case we've been digging into for months, and tonight the Lubbock man at the center of that federal case has pled guilty for putting a weapon in the hands of someone who never should have had one. KMAX Matthew Stell is here to walk us through all this. Yeah, Brian, and pleading guilty to several federal crimes. Today, officials saying his actions may have cost the lives of seven innocent West Texans last year. I know that we all recall the day just a year over over a year ago that a gunman wielding an AR-15 styled semi-automatic rifle opened fire on Interstate 20 in Midland, of De Midland, Texas. After shooting a DPS trooper, he went on leaving more death in his wake. By the time the officers neutralized him, he had taken seven innocent lives and wounded another 25 others. Many still ask, how could this happen if Seth the tour was banned from even having a weapon? The shooter was able to purchase a semi-automatic rifle from an unlicensed dealer of firearms who failed to verify through NICS that this purchaser was not eligible to purchase a weapon. Buying that gun from Marcus Anthony Brazil, a Lubbock man who the ATF says illegally sold the gun to a tour four years ago this week. In general, Mr. Brazil would purchase lower receivers, that is the gun's firing mechanism, from a dealer. Then he would manufacture a complete gun and sell the gun to interested buyers. Usually doing so right out of his North Lubbock garage or in a store parking lot. But federal agents say if Brazil had done things the right way, meaning he was federally licensed to sell those guns, he would have been able to run a background check on Seth Latour. As the Brazil case makes clear, dealing firearms without a license is not an obscure, meaningless, technical violation. It is unlawful conduct that has very real-world impact and has potentially devastating results. But it doesn't stop there. Court documents show Brazil admits he never reported the nearly $4,000 in profits he made from those purchased weapons on his taxes, including the fact that he sold guns to three more people who also shouldn't have had them. A convicted felon, a citizen of Mexico illegally in the United States, another person who was currently under a federal indictment, and the Midland Odessa shooter. The 45-year-old pleading guilty to dealing firearms without a license and falsifying tax returns now faces up to five years in federal prison. Um, it's not hard to get a license, and I think that's the, the key to trying to get this out to, to people that are selling guns that are engaged in the business is that do it the right way and you'll have no problems. We won't be here doing We won't be announcing this. U.S. Attorney Aaron Neely Cox, who you heard there, says the year-long investigation wouldn't have happened without the dedicated federal agents here in Lubbock. Tonight, Brazil is free on bond, but he'll officially be sentenced on January 7th. Lauren. <laughs>